Hello friends and welcome, it's Morgana here today showing you how to do this simple uh, dust scene uh, with a fishing boat and some seabirds and a lovely cloudy dusty sky. Beginning today with a blank piece of paper, this is a, a quarter imperial sheet of watercolour paper which is roughly A3 size, uh, Saunders Waterford brand cold pressed, I'll pop details from the video down below. Uh, and I'm beginning by using my extra large Harco brush to just wet the paper, uh, the top two thirds of it at least. Want it uh, nice and soaked because this uh, sky technique relies on the paper being quite wet for at least a good few minutes whilst you get your paint in. So beginning now I'm adding some cerulean blue in first. This is such a wonderful colour for skies, you'll see me use it a lot. Uh, I think it's got that lovely sky blue sort of translucent quality, especially when paired with other colours. Uh, I'm now adding in some cobalt blue across the top here and just using my large brush to uh, really get these colours to marry and mingle beautifully. And now you can see I've switched to a smaller brush. This is my mop brush. Um, it's an Estoda Ultimo synthetic mop brush in a size 10. Um, and I'm using it to put in some opera rose pink, uh, blending it beautifully into the blue there, just to give some lovely dusty colors. You can see that this pink has begun to blend beautifully in with the blue, creating a, a sort of dusty violet shade, which I think is really quite beautiful. And now I'm going to add in some clouds. You can see I'm trying to work quite quickly to uh, preserve the wetness of my paper. You can see it's still wet because when I'm popping in these little brush strokes here, you can see it's uh, beginning to diffuse nicely into the, uh, the blue sky wash. To create this cloud colour, I did mix two colours. Um, I've mixed in some burnt sienna with my cobalt blue on my palette to get this nice sort of soft bluey grey colour. You can see I've picked up a little more cobalt on my brush and I'm just adding it in over the top here, doing some uh, soft little upsweep strokes uh, just to get that sort of natural looking drift of clouds coming uh, up from the left towards the uh, top right corner.
now that I'm happy with the sky and those lovely clouds have just popped in there, um, I'm just going to pop in the sea. Using my large heart a brush again, I'm just very lightly, you can see, just sweeping along the surface of the paper with the tips of the bristles using the cerulean blue and the um, opera rose pink again. You can see how the two colours are blending beautifully together, even just so lightly on the surface. This dry brush technique uh, really makes use of the qualities of the cold pressed paper here, which is lovely and bumpy. <laughs> uh, it takes the paint beautifully and creates this lovely sparkle, uh, like light on the water. And now that I've left it to dry, I'm coming back in. This is um, an ink pen that I'm using. Uh, I'll pop the details below as usual. It's a fine liner. I think a Pigma Micron fine liner, size 02. It's very fine. Uh, it's also waterproof. So um, if you, whilst you're painting, would rather sketch out and then pop in the boat first before then doing the wash, uh, then you can do that with this pen. Uh, it doesn't matter which way around you do it. Um, I decided to do it this way. <laughs> there are plenty of other ways. Uh, I am literally just sketching out uh, the silhouette of a small boat uh, face on to us, coming towards us, the viewer, just to uh, sit in the centre of this painting. And I'm coming in now just with a small round brush. This is a size triple zero Master Touch Aquamarine uh, synthetic brush that I'm using. And I'm also just uh, picking up the old paint on my palette rather than pulling any fresh colours out. So this is literally that sort of lovely mix of the pink and blue that I'm using to shade the hull of this boat. You can see I'm not filling it in entirely. I'm leaving some white spaces. Uh, which is the uh, imitation glint of light on the side of the hull. Uh, there are other ways you can do this. If you are more prepared than I am, you can sketch the boat first and apply masking fluid to the places you want to keep white. Um, I'm uh, almost cheating in a way here. I'm making use of the dry brush technique that has left uh, lots of lovely white sparkle on the page. So I've deliberately placed my boat so that the uh, top left corner of it would be over that patch of white which I could uh, then borrow for the uh, boat's highlights. A little bit naughty but there we go, art's all about shortcuts sometimes isn't it? <laughs> And there you can see I've just used the pen again to just pop in a couple of very small figures just to give the boat a little bit of life. You can see one on each side. It's literally the simplest thing just because this is so small you just need uh, the most basic of silhouettes. And you can see here, I'm just using the same colour, this lovely purple blend, which has come from the pink and blue, to just do a little wiggly line of reflection 
of the boat in the water. That's all you need, just a gentle, sort of soft, horizontal scribble. And as a finishing touch, I'm going to add in some seabirds. Uh, I'm using a very fine brush for this. This is a quadruple zero sized brush, uh, four zeros. <laughs> it's very fine. Uh, I love using it for birds. It has that perfect, for me, the perfect size to uh, still give them some definition, but it means they're not too uh, heavy on the page. They don't look big or clumsy. You can also see that I'm varying the wing placement from that sort of classic uh, V shape and the angle as well. Uh, it helps the flock to look a bit more realistic in flight. Uh, these aren't sort of planned, these birds. It's the best way to do birds, I think, is to just look at the painting as a whole and see where they need to go and think, yes, I think some birds should go there and then put them in. That's what I do anyway. And here we are with the finished painting. It's as simple as that. Uh, a lovely little boat there, some lovely little birds, and a lovely clouded dusty sky. I really hope you all enjoyed watching that and that maybe uh, got inspired to do something similar of your own. Thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more artwork like this. Uh, so thanks again and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye for now.